Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's your buddy here, Marcos from the Rowdy Souls, bass player and all around do everything ish guy. Hope you guys are all doing well tonight. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. So, no Terraria tonight. Uh, I decided to switch things up a little bit. I actually threw my head on. I want to be a cool dude. Yeah, I'm a cool dude. Um, yeah, I decided to change things up. This new game came out. I think it was July 31st, called Chasm. It is a Metroidvania by BitKid Incorporated, and it is right up my alley. I'm, I know I've seen, you guys may have seen this as well, a lot of mixed reviews about the game, but uh, I'm really excited about it. It's right up my alley. I love Metroidvania games. I love Super Metroid, most of the Metroid titles, um, most Castlevania titles. I love those types of games. So this is, this was just built for me, but, um, What's up, Bully Brew? It looks like Brando the Kid is in here as well. I'm just catching up with chat a little bit. Um, Boar Ragnarok. <laughs> I have no idea what, what that has to do with, but sure. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got sub badges, which is really exciting, I guess, or loyalty badges. I put those together literally last night. Uh, kind of threw them on quickly. They're musical notes for the band. Um, yeah, I'm super stoked to play this game. This is honestly a blind playing. I haven't uh, haven't actually seen the game yet. So, uh, well, I've seen the game. I just haven't played it yet. Um, but uh, welcome, Snipe, Snipeola. I don't think I've seen you around before, but welcome, welcome. Uh, this stream is actually normally a music stream, but uh, every Tuesday I'm the bass player for the band. Uh, I play some gaming just to give a little bit of variety, but you come back on Mondays and Wednesdays at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. You can see the band play. We play bluegrass music. I don't know what that has to do with. <laughs> I, I have no, I have no idea. Um... But yeah, come back on Tuesdays or Mondays and Wednesdays at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. You can see a live new grass band, usually a three-piece. Sundays, we want to start doing full band streams, but just hasn't worked out yet. Um, but without further to do, I'd like to just like hop in here and we can start we can start partying. Get a party. <laughs> I love the sound effects, the graphics. I already like I've seen a little bit about this game, but I know I know very little otherwise. are all doing well, but I'm pretty stinking stiff. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just didn't recognize your username. I apologize. All right. If anyone wants to, for some weird reason, uh, <laughs> play along, you can use the same seed as me, I believe. I think you can enter it in. There it is, 40993C70 if you'd like. I'm gonna leave it on normal difficulty. Hopefully I don't get owned too badly. I guess we'll find out. But <laughs> my name is Brando, I like to party. <laughs> I know for a fact you don't like to party. Creating world. Noting tiles. Marcos. Marcos, wake up. I thought I'd find you up here. Did you fall asleep watching the knights ride off on their mission? Don't worry. You're the brightest recruit this outpost has seen in some time. Soon you'll be full-fledged. Gildian Knight. And I'll still be here running errands for the commander. Hey, what's up, Jethro? <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Good to see you. I'm playing some Chasm. Which reminds me, he sent me to find you. Your orders are to report to Commander Siltz's office at once. You'd better hurry. He seemed even more impatient than usual. I shall do that. All right. Going down the stairs. <laughs> Keep out. Good advice. 
Uh, save time. Sure. Me you in the light of the watchers, and your deeds shall be recorded in the Tome of Light. Their eyes will always find those who shine brightly. They remember our deeds in this life, and offer us a place by their side in the next. Let the light of the watchers illuminate your path, and they shall aid you in your time of need. A fizzle the younger. <laughs> okay, I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> Jumping. Not a lot of action this morning, but this view sure is beautiful. I apologize, I may change voices. I'll try to remember all the voices that I do. Oh, nothing happens this. By the light of the watchers, I have up hedge my soul to the land of Gildia. I will illuminate the places where darkness dwells. My shield shall always be ready to defend those who are defenseless. I shall seek to be brave, just and whoops, wrong button. And loyal for the glory of Gildia. Sorry, I can't train in the yard with you today. Yendrick says I need to stay in bed until I get better. Stop back and tell me if anything interesting happens, okay? Will do, buddy. I'm sure you're a very important character. Yeah, I totally agree, Jethro. The 16 bit. Um, kind of retro comeback. It just made some awesome games. The style in this game, the art, everything's just so awesome so far. I heard the commander's looking for you. You'd better not be making trouble like the rest of the recruits. I wanna break some candles. General Series Tefali. Everyone's out chasing down bandits, I'm stuck here claiming. That's the last time I throw dice in the barracks. If you ask me, the commander's horse eats better than we do. You know the rules, recruit. No one needs to suppose without the commander's approval. I'm gonna regret doing all these unique voices. <laughs> I'm really going to regret this because I'm not going to remember any of them. <laughs> Ooh, old man wizard. Ooh. I'm not going to read all that. <laughs> what is this mysterious clipboard? Two recruits caught gambling, both sentenced to ten days of extra duties. One fifteenth of Luminoth. Receive report of bandits attacking traders on the road to Delicath. The commander has dispatched the knights to investigate, as he should. If you come to borrow another book, remember, even the mightiest warrior can grow stronger through knowledge. Thank you. I have to remember those. There you are. Go right in. The commander is waiting. I think I got that voice. Okay, what's the commander going to be here? Uh, at ease, recruit. I have a mission for you. There's a small mining town about three days' journey to the west called Carthas. This morning I received an urgent letter from the town's mayor. He reports that the miners were attacked by a wild beast while working deep in the mines. The last time this happened, it was only an injured wolf that had found its way down there. Regardless, they refused to go back to work until it's been taken care of. I know this sounds like a trivial matter, but we depend on Carthus for supplies and raw materials. <laughs> Luminoth is this Metroid now. This is definitely inspired a lot by Metroid from all the footage that I've seen. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's lots of little, um, little Easter eggs and, and things like that. Mmm, delicious water. As you know, I sent the knights on a mission yesterday. Which leaves me a bit short-handed. I need you to go to Carthas and do whatever it takes to get those mines up and running again. I think you're ready to become a Gildian knight, but you must prove yourself first. Do you understand your orders? Yes. Good. Head to the armory, get properly equipped before you set off to Carthas. 
Godspeed, recruit. Well, your first mission. I had a feeling today was going to be your lucky day. Be careful on the road to Carthus. The snowstorms are treacherous this time of year. Whee! Oddly enough, this game is, maybe it's just the graphical style or the way the controls feel, kind of remind me of Starbound, actually. Just something about it, it's very Starbound-y. Gonna get a sword. It's stabby time. I have to remember her voice. So, the commander is sending you on your first mission. You'll be needing a weapon then. Take a sword off the rack. Ooh. Yeah, short sword. Make sure you equip. <laughs> Make sure to equip your sword before you set off. Just remember, you're training. You'll do fine. Uh, I better equip my sword. This music reminds you of Dust, so that's a really solid plus. Yeah, Dust is fantastic. That's a game I really regret not finishing, which I'd actually like to finish one of these days. But I have infinite, infinite time. But yeah, Dust, Dust was legit. That's such a good game. But the graphics and like the feel of the game really, really remind me of... Uh, Starbound for some reason. <laughs> well, you get to go out on your first mission. I hear that Carthus is really cold all year round. Make sure to stay warm. You don't want to end up stuck in bed like me. Whee! Time to swing my sword at stuff. Now this... Looks like you're all set. Make sure you have everything you need. Once you go through this gate, there's no turning back. <sighs> yeah, I think that's it. It's like that weird way the pixelation works and everything, and the, the feel of the game even, too. But I think the models for the characters look like they're the same scale. I think that's the reason, too, the ships in. Good luck. You're gonna need it. <laughs> Yeah, I love I love the graphics in this game, Bully Brew. It's fantastic. It's this game is so so up my alley. I I wanted to kind of ignore the mixed the mixed uh, reviews and welcome by the way. Good to see you again. And you've got your own little uh, loyalty badge there. It looks nice. I'm on my mission to see what's going on. Dun 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 dun. Do snowstorms. I traveled the land. To fulfill my mission. Uh, it was a rerun last night, unfortunately. Band was not feeling well, so we just ran a rerun, hung out. We actually had a lot of really active chat <laughs> for it being a rerun. <laughs> Cothus. Looks like a great town. <laughs> I should save, I guess. Hello? Is anyone here? <gasps> Treasure. Apparently I don't know how to open doors yet. <laughs> Mist could pass. Ah. Dear Bastard, I must confess, I believe you may have something interesting to say for once. The tribe you described in your last letter seems to have some basis in reality, which is more than I can say about your crackpot theories about King Trell. I'm glad you have put aside these childish fantasies about magical forces driving the king mad. You should focus your efforts on, the, on this ancient civilization. It may be your final chance to prove yourself. Sincerely, G.P. Majes, Dean of Anthropology. Oh, that's lame. I like the music so far. That's why I kind of don't put a lot of stock in reviews, honestly. Um, someone's going to find something to gripe about, and if a game's fantastic, or it may not be the best game for everyone, so I knew this game was going to be good, like something I would enjoy. It's locked. The 
the Carthus Mines. Employees only. All others prohibited. Ooh, there's a light on. <laughs> I get to do a wizened old man now. Uh, uh, thank, thank the Watchers. Uh, a guilty at night. Uh, oh, you're, you're only a recruit. Uh, well, I reckon I should just be thankful I'm not alone anymore. My family has been running Carthus for generations. But it's begun to unravel under my watch. The mines have become less and less productive in spite of our best efforts. In a last dish effort to keep Carthus alive, my crew began blasting in search of a new vein of ore. Some sort of beast emerged in one of the new passages, and the miners fled to the surface. I wrote to your outpost for help, but then, a few days later, things got much worse. In the dead of night, a gang of hideous creatures came up from the mines and ransacked the town. When the morning came, I finally woke up, worked up the courage to investigate, and the town, I, I found the town was empty. Please, you must find the missing townsfolk and help restore Carthus. T take this key, it will open the gates to the mines. Please remember to report back here if you find anyone. Uh, people complaining about there being no direction what to do next. <laughs> it's a Metrovania. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> You're supposed to figure it out. Explore. That's what you do. Super Metroid had absolutely no direction. You just had to figure the game out. Felix Farron and Drake Stryker wanted. The notorious duo are wanted by the Kingdom of Gideo to stand trial for crimes of thievery and piracy. The last seen heading east towards the Ladorian Mountains. Beware. Both are considered to be armed and dangerous. If you see either individual, please contact the Fjordians and meet them. Let's celebrate. Carthus' 100th anniversary is nearly upon us. On the 121st day of the Luminoth 772, we will gather to celebrate the historic day the town was founded by J.Q. Carthus. The first. All townsfolk, the visitors are invited to join. Please bring a dish to share and we'll see you there. J.Q. Carthus III, Mayor of Carthus. Wow, there's a lot of missing persons in this town. Solve this problem. Can we go to the right? Ooh, you can. See? What? What? Oh, this is totally like Rambo for the NES. If you keep running to the right, eventually you just end up in the left-hand side. That's fantastic. Mmm, mmm, water. Delicious water. Oh yeah, I already went in there. There's no one. Ooh, here we go. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Too much direction. Yeah, the whole idea of Metroidvania is that you explore and kind of figure things out on your own. It's not meant to be like this curated... I don't know, here, go here. Take that, Zombo! Slashing. Okay, I'm totally digging this already. My 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 uh, Metroidvania instincts are kicking in. I'm breaking I'm breaking the uh, lanterns around the place. This feels good. The controls do feel a little kind of stiff than what I expected, um, but it seems right. It feels like what Symphony Night sort of feels like. Like the attack animations kind of lock you in. I can kind of see how some people would want more fluidity. But it's definitely very Castlevania-like to have those animations and feel like it kind of locks you into your decision, so... Oh my gosh, pay attention. These weird cave zambos will get you. What does this all mean? Huh. My search for King Trail may have been in vain. Alright, don't want to read all this. I'll read it uh, in my mind. Their language is primitive. So it looks like somebody was exploring Professor Basden. Okay. Oh, it's got several pages to that thing. Ooh, money! Oops. How do I look at my... Okay, cool. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Oh my gosh. Let's jump. Like, we. I wanna die! Yeah, this is this is my kind of game. 
I'm gonna be this game's defender. I shall defend you, game. I don't care what people say. You're my friend. We're buddies. Oh, I love it. That totally looks like those little, um, wall crawling things from Metroid. I love that. <laughs> Level up! Woo! I'm more powerful now. Mastery over the caves. All troll zombie guys shall bow before me. Ooh, an apple. Now, is food like an inventory type thing? Like in uh, Castlevania? Oh, it is. Okay. Cool, cool. So just like uh, Symphony of the Night, you can kind of collect fruits and veggies and such. I'm thinking. Oh, what's this? A knife? Is the knife better than the sword? Can I dual wield? It's more. <laughs> a knife's more powerful than a short sword? Sure. Video game logic. Oh, but it's got that. I gotta get closer. A bit personal with my victims. Ooh. Not today, exploding caterpillar things. Uh, Jether says, I do have concerns about adding RPG element to Metroidvania, but we will see where that goes. But dude, that was like, Symphony of the Night was all about that, and that's one of my favorites. Um, I think that's why I dig, I dig the whole exploring, but also being able to level and kind of have, feel that mastery over the world. You can still get that in Metroidvania games as you get new abilities, but I love the idea also that you're kind of, you can grind to get better for a hard boss. It kind of rewards you for being persistent, but I could kind of see what you're saying too. Like the pure Metroid um, requires just mastery over the abilities and skills that you get. Uh, I don't really see a save point soon. Crawler unlocked. I don't know what that is. Ah. Okay. Yeah, so far I'm really, really digging this. Money! How do I go down? Mist could pass. That joke's gonna probably get old, but it's still funny to me. And it's only funny to people that play Symphony of the Night. Uh, up or down? Which way shall I go? I say to the left. Ooh, ooh, spear guy. Spear guy strong. Spear guy hurt me. Yeah, spear guy, oh, serious business. My first real foe. Sotin was a special case. It did so much that wasn't standard, but it was balanced. There are very few games that have succeeded outside of Sotin. Um, yeah, I mean, I would agree. I I think I'm a bigger f uh, fan of the kind of Egovanias. So I'll kind of... I'll take like a more mediocre Egovania. Um, that's, you know, maybe mainstay fans of more Metroid and Castlevania won't like. Like, I like Portrait of Ruin. Harmony of Dissonance, stuff like that, where some people just didn't dig where the titles went. They wanted a more pure Castlevania experience, and then they ended up getting, um... Gosh, that was the one with the, where the female protagonist, which I actually didn't dig that game. I thought it was too stinking hard, even though the game looked beautiful. I, the name's escaping me right now. But it was the last, I think, uh, last Castlevania that Ika worked on, I think. Oh my gosh, I'm getting owned. Then we have Bloodstained, which I'm eagerly awaiting. Take that spear guy, I gained a level. Okay. Oof. Bats! Alfred, there's bats in the bat cave. Help me. Come on, Mr. Bat. Oh my gosh. Uh, got you. Yeah, my health's getting low. I might have to eat my apple. Oh my gosh. No. No, I don't want to die. Not like this. Time to eat my apple. Yum, 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 yum. Oof. Oh, it's gross. Come here, fool. Just strike thee in the face. Dying bad. Slicing with knife. Good. 
Ah, oh, those adorable little like crawler guys. That's great that they kind of. That's so Metroid. <laughs> Fantastic. People are probably gonna get sick of me like, praising this game. I'm just having a blast. I, I love this style of game. <sighs> Yo, did. They're like a little drill. I don't think that's a spear. I think that's like a drill. It looks like it's a got a bit on the end. Yeah, I think they were zoomers. I think that's. I think you're right. I think that's what they were called. And then the blue ones were. I'm not up in my uh, Metro era uh, Metroid lore. Gosh, man, I'm gonna have to run back to the save point. I might actually re-equip the sword because I think the problem is I stink with the range. Or I feel like the sword that extra range is enough to really. Uh, Blues are zoomers, reds are gamers. Okay, yeah. Good old bizarre NES, original like NES uh, names for stuff. Just like Zelda. The original Zelda has such bizarre names for all the monsters. Well, then Moblins. Moblins is always, I thought, was such a cool name. Save point? No, oh, there's a cave. How does this work? You walk inside. Oh, the controller shaking. So, am I in like... This is interesting. What is this? Huh. Oh, this unlocks like a shortcut. Nice. Because I didn't go... Oh, very cool. So now I can go back to town and re rejuvenate myself. Very cool. What's up, PC Tracks? <laughs> the man, the legend. Let me give a shout out to PC Tracks because anyone watching isn't following him. You guys need to go check out PC Tracks. He's one of my, f he's my absolute favorite. Same for the Night Speedrunner. He's also speedrunning, I believe, Mega Man X3 right now. You're training for it. Also, Super Metroid Speedrunner. It's fantastic. Hopefully, the shout out command works. Yeah! Finally! <laughs> it wasn't working a little while ago. But welcome, welcome. I'm playing some uh, some Chasm, and I'm really digging it so far. I've read, I was kind of talking with Jethro. I've read some mixed reviews about it, but I kind of just wanted to go in the game and just just go for it anyway, because I knew it was up my alley, and I'm really, I'm really enjoying it so far. The music's great. Controls feel very Castlevania-y. Yeah, it's been a little while. <laughs> it's been a while since I've streamed too, so it's uh, the onus is on me as well, I think. Yeah, everything's good. Everything's good. Baby life, you know. Um, I'm streaming gaming every Tuesday on, on the, my band's Twitch channel here, but life's been good. Baby's fun. He did start teething, though, which has been, been a little bit of a challenge, but he's a good kid. We have a blast with him. He's laughing a lot. It's fun to try to figure out what he likes and what can make him giggle. Oh, sweet. I picked up a club and a topaz. A little bit of runny nose from the dust. Let's see what this club is like. <laughs> yes, maximum power. Well, how are you doing? I, I don't think I've stopped by your stream in a while. I feel kind of bad. Uh, I think I stopped by a little bit while you were streaming. Or else we might have raided you, I think. I don't remember. We were, uh, I think, practicing speedrun strats. Oh, nice. I like this. Sometimes it's good to take a little break, so. Oh my goodness. My first mini boss? Well. Join the club! Oh gosh. Ooh. Yeah, I had I had a nice break from streaming and it was really rejuvenating, so. Sometimes it's good to step away. Nice cave troll unlocked! Oh Mega Man X2, that's right, not three. I'm sorry. Oh, that's awesome. You got a few uh, projects you're jumping in between. Oh, looky here. Bazin. Thank you for your assistance. I'm Professor Bazin of the Gildean Academy of Science. I suppose you're wondering how I ended up in that cave. Or cage. I first arrived at Carthus nearly a year ago. Uh, searching for remnants of King Trill's caravan. While staying in town, I learned of the cave paintings throughout these caverns. To my astonishment, the paintings were made by an undiscovered tribe. They lived here nearly 1,000 years ago. 
I named them Lodori after these mountains. I began to devote all my time to learning about them. They are very interesting people, but their sudden disappearance is what captured my curiosity. My research was going swimmingly until one of those creatures sneaked up on me while I was studying and knocked me out. The next thing I remember is waking up in that cage with a splitting headache. I believe we had a, have a common interest in finding out why people, both ancient and modern, keep disappearing here. The miners uh, were last blasting on the bottom floor, so we should head down there to begin our investigation. Come now. Together, we can open the gate to the lower levels of the mines. Oh, thank you so much for the host PC tracks. <laughs> really appreciate it. Let me catch up with chat. Uh, I find it quite difficult at first, at least for X2. I can see that. Jethro says, I remember X2 being significantly harder than X1 casually, though at least. Yeah. Um, X1 is still, I think, my favorite, even though I know it has, like, the least to offer. I think just because I played it so much, um, where I didn't get as much time with X2 or X3. Um, being a kid and only having so many resources to be able to have games and stuff. Um, <laughs> thank you. It's really appreciated. Um, so I'm guessing I have to backtrack? Because I haven't gone up, so I need to go all the way to the right. Maybe I'll hit the save point and go up, because I don't know if I want to go down just yet. Man, I'm digging, I'm digging the club. Go club some seals. Or some slimes. Same thing. It really, it stops their, uh, staggers their attack animation too, which is really nice. You still have X1? Can't get rid of X1, it's a classic. I wish I still had my Super Nintendo games. You lost your X2 and X3? Ugh, sad. At least you weren't dumb like me. I sold a lot of really good classic, like, JRPGs for the Super Nintendo, pretty much most of my Super Nintendo games, to build up my PlayStation library, and I really regret that. I think I've, I think I've told that story where it's just like, why? I had, like, pretty much all the JRPGs you could ever want. It was, like, the collection I'd saved up, busted my buns, but PlayStation was the future. In fact, I think I got a gun con. And, uh, <laughs> I think it was Time Crisis. Yeah, the X collection looks fantastic. I'm thinking about picking up for Switch, honestly. Having X, the X series on the go, is really appealing to me. And for what I understand, they combined the both collections, I think, for the Switch, where you have to buy them separately for... The other consoles, if I remember correctly. It seems like the Switch is actually, ironically, the best, uh, best, uh, value there. Delicioso. Alright, yeah, I like this club. I like clubbing. Go out with my homies and club. Maybe listen to some techno and hit some people in the head with a club. Maybe I will go down. Well, I'm gonna go back and go up. Really? There's four slowdown on it? Ugh. I didn't know that. To me, I was just thinking, like, how nice it'd be on the go, because I travel a lot for work. It'd be nice to be able to play Mega Man X on the plane in my hotel. Hmm. That's a bummer if there's slowdown. Especially for speedrunners. I mean, plebes, plebes like me don't have that problem. We just play for fun, but... For you speedrunning types, with all your skills... In your hand-eye coordination. I could see how that could be a, a big bummer. Achievement! I'm a warrior! I'm also gonna be a dead warrior soon if I don't get to that save point. Non-speedrunning plebes like myself. Casuals. Filthy cashes. Definitely getting bloodstained when it comes out on the Switch, though. Oh man, I'm so pumped about that game. I need to stop talking about it. I think I bring it up too much sometimes. People around me are like, ah, we don't want to talk about it. It's like, it's eager though. He's making a game. Time to save. Ah, oh, healing. Healing of my soul and of my character's hit points. Reading the reviews and the bunch were saying the Switch emulation is not good. Ah. Uh. Maybe that's why, I think it's cheaper to buy it that way too. Maybe that's why, maybe they knew up front that emulation wasn't spot on. Hopefully it's good enough at least for casual play. That's pretty much what I planned on doing. It's just 
playing ca casual, filthy Kaz. Oh my gosh, guy with knife. Oh, treasure. Cannot get the treasure. I have a feeling I've traveled all this way. No, that might be actually for something. Let's see. Oh, another person. I'm just gonna leave you in here, sorry. Apple. Thanks for helping me get out of that cage, my child. I'm Narina. I run the magic shop in town. I was tending to my horse, Buttercup, when I was taken captive. I hope she's okay. She gets off lonely when I'm gone. Stop by my shop and see me if you're ever in need of my services. Oh, uh, how am I lucky? I'm really, I'm really enjoying the game so far. The controls, it, there's definitely, um, time to go by all the magics. The controls definitely have that, um, uh, tech animation priority feel where you have to let animations play out. Um, so I can see that timing is important. So it almost has kind of a, um, classic Castlevania feel somewhat, actually. Uh, weirdly enough, I expected the controls to be a little more fluid, but it kind of has... I don't know how to explain it. It definitely has like that more classic Castlevania feel where when you press the button to whip, you were gonna whip, and when you jumped somewhere, um, I mean, you could still kind of, you don't have the really stilted jump of like a ca original Castlevania or Castlevania 3 where you jump and you're just gonna dedicate. You still have that Mario or even like Symphony of Night flexibility, but definitely attack animations feel very, you definitely have to let them play out and timing seems really important, but all around, the game controls really well. It uh, sounds awesome. The graphics are fantastic. I'm really enjoying it. It, it got mixed reviews, but I kind of don't care. Like I, like I said a little earlier, I knew I would dig this game. I I'm a sucker for Metroidvanias, so I figured I'd support the, you know, support the developers. I heard it was a really small development team, so even if it's maybe not the perfect Metroidvania, Symphony of the Night successor, it feels really great so far. I'm enjoying it. Just something about the animation, like, is really, really pleasing. As weird as it sounds, like, everything just looks so great. A lot of care and detail, it seems, went into this game. It's definitely scratching. I I'd say give it a give it a shot. Um, never, uh, I would, as mean as it sounds, I bought it when it was on sale, and I had Humble Bucks. So I actually ended up paying, like, $10 for this game. Um, right, yeah, I wouldn't compare it. Axiom Verge is, like kind of on its own plane. <laughs> it's not fair to compare games to Axiom Verge. That was like a labor of love by basically one developer from what I understand. He's actually a really, it's a really good interview with him on Retronauts if you ever want to check it out with the creator of uh, Axiom Verge, but um... Ooh, there's some more carvings. A learning scroll and another topaz. I wonder what this... Permanently increase a random attribute one point. Why not? Uh, it didn't tell me what got increased. That's okay. Yeah, I'd say... I'd say it was... It feels worth what I paid for it, but I paid 10. Not to be... Let me see, not to be too harsh, but 20 seems like a stretch, because it is kind of... With the mixed reviews, I have a feeling I'll eventually start to see some... Kind of weak points in the seams of the game, possibly. Um... Ooh. It didn't, it didn't tell me what I got. What, what was it? He just like held it in the air proudly. Oh, it's a leather belt. <laughs> it's like, I'm not gonna tell you what you picked up. I'm gonna hold it up like a Zelda game. Um, I do like the idea. Oh, okay, so I think this is as far as I can go. I think I need to head back. Or did I not head right when I was at the game? No, or maybe I'll go back to the portal. Or maybe I just need to head back to town. I did, uh, save two people. Even though some people have criticized the procedurally generation, I think that's... For me, as a streamer, I'm kind of glad that I can kind of come back to this game and it'll be somewhat pretty fresh. Um, oh my goodness. Come here. Uh, I wonder if I should just head to the shortcut. It might actually be faster. Even though there's a lot of stuff. So now I'm backtracking, as you do. And it may not even be backtracking for a good reason. I'm kind of playing this game blind. Honestly, I don't. I know very little about it except for what I've seen in the reviews. So. 
And Axiom Verge would be another good one to play on stream, but I kind of want to play Zero Mission first on stream. Because I just love that game so much. It gives me an excuse to play it. I might become like the uh, casual fan, you know, casual uh, Metroidvania guy maybe or something is what I'll stream because I just love playing Metroidvania games. And just Castlevania games in general and Metroid games in general. So for people that <laughs> are cool with a casual noob playing these games, maybe not having sweet, sweet strats and sometimes fumbling about, this would be a good place to hang out. And hear bad voice acting where I forget what voices I did for the different townspeople. Okay, yeah, that was a lot. That was pretty quick. Because I think this is the shortcut. Uh, if you do play AV on stream, give me a heads up. I'll bring some speed <laughs> speed community with me. <laughs> so they can laugh. He's not even playing it fast. He's so slow. <laughs> wonder how I opened this. I have a feeling I'm just supposed to head back to town. For some reason, it looks like I didn't go down to the right. <laughs> they could be like, ha ha, you are slow. Yeah, I flat out just didn't go to the right. <laughs> oh, well here he is. Oh, he opened this up for me. Now we'll just stand there for one moment while I lock the gate in place. That should do it. Now, follow me. I think I changed his voice already. Yeah, I... I would assume that uh, Axiom Verge would have a speed rank community. I just, honestly haven't seen any speed. Uh, it's a rat! Uh, disgusting! Clubbed! Join the club of the dead rat! Any other good club puns? Ooh, a topaz! Do you hold any records or anything, uh, Jethro? Come to the face. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get my backdash. Backdash my way out of that. Because I know, I've seen in the previews, there's 14th in the world. Nice. Is there like different... I, I honestly am totally ignorant. Is there like different categories and stuff? I'm trying to think. My knowledge of the game. Ah, any percent. Okay, so it's some of the typical categories. Probably like 80%, 100%. I want to get to that treasure chest. Come on, bat. Face your death. The end of my club. Treasure. Oh, no. Looks like I'm not reaching that treasure yet. Money. What if I should have headed back to town and talked to the townsfolk? It's a rat! Stay away! It's like a mutated Pokemans. Ratatat, what happened to you? I've been down in these caves too long. Oh gosh, have you eaten other Ratatats? Yes. 90% warp list, 100% items are the categories at the moment. Though, with the new stuff we've done this week, gonna have there maybe some new things coming. Nice! Yeah, I'll have to check it out, because I I have a um, an interest in speedrunning, watching speedrunning. I'm just a fan, but I definitely don't have the skills or the the patience or the calm to be a speedrunner. Um, maybe this game. I don't know. Who knows? If it's really, you know, has mixed reviews and not a lot of people get into it, maybe it's a game worth looking into, but who knows? Ugh. Rock throwing orc imp. I'm dying, and I don't want to die here. Is it apple time? It's apple time. Hoo-hoo! Take that, dude. All that so I can't get in there. Hm. That's okay. Oh gosh, I missed. I don't think it's important to make that. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die if I'm not paying attention. Let's see... Uh, I don't think I have the power-up yet. Well, I don't have any power-ups yet, so... Definitely not going in there. Huh. Am I already exhausted everywhere I go in here? No. It looks interesting. 
I just know you have to get really precise. I've watched you do it before, and I've watched a lot of other- Oh, I'm, I don't think I can get across there. Oh, you might be talking to Jethro, actually. <laughs> Whoops. Ignore me. Um... I've thought- I have thought about casually speedrunning. But I think you're talking to Jethro. <gasps> Ooh, a switch. Ah, a switch to, to hit another switch. Which will open up another switch, maybe. Switch hitting. That's the thing about speedrunning, too, where I think I'd have a hard time. It's just, I barely can find time to play games for fun. And then to try to make time to practice strats. This seems, it just seems like it'd be so tough. I wonder what this switch opens. <laughs> it's a Rube Goldberg switch machine. I wonder if this is one of those hideous, terrible time switches. Woohoo! Well, I definitely know there's not fall damage now. Ooh, floor one. Yay, a save point. Healing. Agua. Agua de... Uh, cup. Ooh, rumble. Going to floor two. Maybe I should find the power-up which lets me go through those rock thingies. And obviously I'm gonna get a slide later. Yeah. <laughs> up to go. Well, I think it's just up to get into elevator, maybe. Because I just saw it was up to go back up to the first floor. So I think just activating elevators or doors, I think, is always up. So I have a feeling you'll never have elevators that go in multiple directions. There'll always be, um, well, never multiple floors. <laughs> what? St stabby, stabby lizard knight. It's fun that everyone's got their own attack pattern, too. I like the fact they didn't kind of cheap out and just have a bunch of enemies that just swing weapons at you. Everyone seems to have their own little, like, a patterns that you have to look for. Oof, like this guy. He hits fast. Oh my gosh. This may be the death of me. Like I said, it's about that attack animation priority. You gotta watch for it and be careful. Oof. This is gonna be tough. Rock throwing guy. Ooh, can I destroy those rocks with my club? Carrot! Kaka carrot. Yeah, my attack animation party here is gonna get me stabbed by this guy a lot. It may be, uh, behoove me to switch back to the sword. But I'm kinda liking this club, though. It's, uh... Attack pattern radius is really pleasing. Okay. Woohoo! Woohoo! Platforming! Okay. I survived. Good. Oh, stabby. Stabby lizard man. I almost wonder if... I wonder if you could hot swap weapons here. Because I have a feeling that club's just not gonna cut it. Oh my. Dude! Seriously, dude! You're gonna force me to eat my apple? Yum, yum, yum. Apple a day keeps the Grim Reaper away. Breaking sources of light. Feels good, man. Wow, they're already introducing another floor. Yeah, it looks like up is always the way to activate. Ah, okay. This is cool. See, I like this. They're always linking me back to the surface. Save up here and see if there's uh, any goodies to buy. Yes, please. All right, looks like a blacksmith is still gone. What is this? Ah, refills my magic. 
okay. I'm the only person left in town. Ah, uh, hello, young one. My magic shop is now open again thanks to you. I have many spells for sale that can help you on your quest. However, I am unable to enhance any items at this time. I lost my book of incantations when I was carried off by those monsters. There was a time when I could recite every incantation in there by heart. But I'm afraid my, my memory is not what it used to be. Please let me know if you happen to come across it. Of course. Magic ring, magic knife. Everything's magic. Mm. What does the silver... View it. Ah, it raises my magic, but pretty much reduces everything else. Intellect and control. I see. So this is like for a magic build. I won't dabble in this just yet. Magic shield. Ooh. A spell to summon a protective shield. Your attack goes down when you have this equipped? Interesting. Oh, because you would equip it in your left hand. So it looks like it intrinsically just reduces your... Well, I'm not going to mess with this just yet. I'll wait till the game gives me uh, free magics so I can uh, toy with it. Okay, it's like my sword's gone. And the mayor did tell me to go talk to him when I had uh, found anyone, I think, so I'm going to go chat with him. I'll try to make sure I have a good voice for my camera. Good. I'm glad Bastion is all right. I used to think of him as a nuisance, but he, he's grown on me. That's all you have to say for me? Ah, and then it strikes out their names when they return. I thought I brought Narina back. Okay. Come on, man. Or I have to talk to him again. <laughs> that was the game. Not if I had to spend money on it. That's good to hear. That Narina is back. She hasn't been in town very long, but she is one of us all the same. And now I bet you she's... There we go. Okay. So you gotta talk to him every time. No, the game's forcing me to spend monies. I don't spend monies on things right away. Alright. Oh, okay. Oh, so this is totally... Dude, this is totally like Symphony of the Night. So, you can still press the other attack button. That's very Symphony of the Night. Very Castlevania. So can I put another weapon in that hand? No, it doesn't really offer it to me. Um, I have Hollow Knight. I haven't started playing it yet. I want to play it. Have I explored everything I can? I think that area in the center, I needed uh, digging tools. I don't know about all the way to the right. I think that was blocked off. We might as well head down. Ah, you didn't like it because of the forced purchasing of upgrades. Gotcha. Yeah, I want to check the game out. I have it. Oh, no. I've fallen. This is bad. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Goodies galore. That has paying attention. Well, looks like we have to find another way back up. Whew, glad they put a save point here. Very Castlevania could swing this arm. I wonder if that's where you equip the magic. And otherwise it's a punchy punch. Punchies. Death punchies. I don't know, I'm kinda the short sword they gave me at the beginning is kinda still seems like the best balanced weapon so far. The range is good, the attack power seems decent. Ooh, I got an iron ingot. What do I do with iron ingots? Ooh. I take back what I said. <gasps> oh. I 
think I just didn't get the, uh, didn't get that jump just right. Oh, goodness. Cred muffins. Come on, I know you can make it. <gasps> yes, excellent. Wow, that's some tight jumps. Okay, that's unlocked. Now, does it want me to go all the way across? Or do they want me to go that way? Let's see what's over here first. Ah, yeah, I need some sort of power up to get. Let me switch back to my club. Go clubbing. Ugh. Club to the face. You're dead. Ah, looks like there's something over here. A space in between. Ah, uh, okay, so you have to go up and get over to that. They seem to give you a lot of magic refills, so I wonder if magic is like... I bet you it's like sub-weapons. Oh gosh. Uh, I may actually... I may actually take your advice, Chethro, and pick up some... some uh, magic when I get back to town. I feel like I'm missing out. <laughs> Rock Troll unlocked, okay. I don't know what that means yet. Oh my gosh, the little crocodile man with a spear. Come on, crocodile man. Fall into the... the... Oh, this guy's a stinker. Switch to my short sword. I think it'll be the best. Oh, almost. Oh gosh, into the bad stuff. The poo gas that's in the mines. Oh my gosh, these guys are so fast. Oh, I can't even jump away in time. I think I don't have to kneel and that's the problem. So I'm kneeling to attack them. I think I don't have to, is the problem. <laughs> Reposition my chaya. And the club would be better if this guy, I'm thinking. I wonder if there's rare drops like in a... Like in an Igavania. If like I kill guys enough times, they start dropping like rare weapons. Is there a luck? I guess I should see if there's a luck stat. Level up! Critical. There must be some sort of roll or randomness to that then because I can do criticals. Oh, I don't like these guys. Let me switch back to my sword. I wish I could hot swap those just kind of quickly. No! Oh, venison. I don't like these guys and they kind of protect those ledges. Stinkers. Come on, bro. Fight me. Fight me like a man. Or a crocodile thing. Or kobold. I bet you they're kobolds. I think they're actually supposed to be little doggies. I'm thinking about their size. The way they look. I think they be kobolds. Alright. Uh, maybe to the right. Uh, I was kind of hoping there'd be a save point. Oh gosh. Gotta be careful there. Looking forward to find a faster sword eventually. Or just a faster weapon. Maybe that's what the magic's for. Maybe magic's faster. Yeah, I'm stinking loaded. I should definitely buy something when I get back. I bet those little dudes are kobolds or... Oh my gosh. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna die if I don't have some fruit. <laughs> you can eat a topaz? <laughs> the cobalt cobaldi. <laughs> I have pizza! Pizza party! I really love the fact there's pizza in this game. <laughs> That's fantastic. Dude! Don't want none of that noise. Nima. Ooh, treasure. I got the tonic recipe. 
So I'm guessing I'm gonna need some sort of alchemist to bring that to, so I probably have to save the... Oh man, I don't like these kobolds. Uh, the sword's really the best weapon for them. It just takes forever, it feels like. There you go, foo. Gotta get that twitchy reaction speed going. Pun intended. I love this slime looking thing. Rub a dub dub slapped in the face with a club. Oof. Money. The riches of the earth. Iron ingot. Uh, save point, please. If there's one here. <laughs> I need save point. I am weak. I'm just scared of losing my progress or a shortcut back to the Soyphus. Yeah, I gotta start playing more strategically. There we go. Start paying better attention to what I'm doing. My arch nemesis. We gotta wait till he attacks. Oh, he attacks so fast though. Okay. Yeah, I actually start, gotta start learning their patterns and stop being lazy, I think is a thing. Ugh. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, you're dead. Rock throwing guy. That looks like, um, if the ogres in Shrek had, like, <laughs> different races and stuff, he'd be like the, I don't know, he'd just be, he looks like a Shrek monster, an ogre. <laughs> Maybe that's, oh my gosh, that'd be an amazing, like, we find out that this is actually, like, the Shrek universe, the shrek overse Ah, oh, that'd be awesome. way to the miners. Opened is just ahead. I think I just changed his voice. <laughs> but before you can continue on, perhaps a history lesson is in order. The Ladori believe that the spirits of animals influenced every aspect of their lives. <laughs> uh, however, at some point they began to worship a strange demigod called Zuta Ulak. They believe this Ulak controlled an army of monstrous minions who would herald the Age of Darkness. This symbol is what the Lidori used to represent Ulak. It's also the last evidence I have been able to find of the tribe before they vanished without a trace. What could have happened to them? Could this Ulak be connected to the monsters and the disappearances? The answers we seek must lie beyond the passage ahead. I will wait here until you've cleared the way. <laughs> hey now, you're an all-star. I will not read all this. Oh, so these are all the different entries. Okay. Ooh, what does that mean? Ooh, I smell a boss. I think we got a boss coming up. So for boss, I'm thinking the sword. I need the... We'll be lurking, gonna grab some food. Hey, no problem. I appreciate you being here hanging out regardless. Go feed yourself. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh. Um. Uh, okay, don't want to be there when his little eyes glow. Okay. Oh, wow, he can change directions. Okay. I can't jump off of walls, though. Okay. So you gotta kinda try to let him... Oh my. These bosses are serious business. They're not playing around. Oof. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to quaff some carrot. Delicious. Oh, you're supposed to get him to run to the wall, I see. Okay. Ah. Oh. Ah. Biscuits. I need to get better at jumping. Okay, at least they telegraph where that's going to be. Oof! Pro skills, pro skills. Ugh. Bad, no pro skills. Ugh. Oh my gosh, jump, dude! Ugh. I'm eating all my, all my foods is. There we go. Alright, so it's best just to run away from that attack. He's not gonna run to the wall. Oof. Oof. The rocks. Between a rock and a werewolf thing. Ugh. Ay, ay, ay. I need to stop taking That's a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes! When oh, he's a Wendigo. Oh, nice. It drops a MacGuffin. <laughs> Astounding work! Never in all my life have I seen such a skilled fighter! With my brains and your brawn, we may just have a chance of getting to the bottom of this. Now, let's hurry. Time is of the essence. Toddle, 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 toddle. Mince, mince, mince. Ooh. Dinamite. Oh, he already activated. this place. Oh my gosh. This place looks very hostile. Maybe I should have gone back and hit the save point, which I think I shall do. Just in case. I would hate to die and have to fight that boss again, even though I did um, consume a lot of goodies. A dead boss is a dead boss. A dead boss is a dead boss. Uh, is there anything else? I guess. Oh, I could go all the way to the left as well. I didn't really complete that area. I should finish Metroid veining this place. Whee! Ah, my arch nemesis. Kobaldy boy. Still rocking that sword, I guess, too. It just seems... It's got the best speed. Seems like the shortest attack animation, so... Especially for killing bats really quick. Very nice for killing those. Yay! I'm gonna restock my food, hopefully, too. Woohoo! I'm getting good at killing those guys. I feel so much like a Symphony of the Night move where you jump up and swing that sword, the arc and everything. It feels very Symphony of the Night. The club, too, feels like the Claymore. They definitely got the feel. The tech animation feel is the best way I can kind of say it. I wonder if I'm supposed to fall down or if I'll die if I fall down there. Ah, you've got to have... I'm assuming a digging tool to get down there. Okay, so this is just, ugh, if you make a mistake, they're giving you a way to get back up. Sorry, itchy face. All right, so I haven't gone to the left. Hopefully it's not a quick, just uh, roadblock. Then I backtracked all this way for nothing. Yeah. Ooh, this one's moving quite a bit faster. The timing just right. Unlike that. Floaty jump, floaty jump. 
I knew I'd have to jump early. Oh my gosh, I did it again. Concern it. Okay. This time... Yeah! What's the treasurer? A leather cap. Or if it's better than my bandana. No! So my random drop was uh, better. That's okay. I kinda will go back to town and get some magic. But I think I actually don't have a way. I fell down that mine shaft. But I remember. Um, hmm. I guess I have to keep going on. Because I don't think I can get back. I don't remember. Did I fall down this one or did I fall down that one? <laughs> I don't remember. I want to go back to town. This game requires some fairly precise jumping. It's definitely not uh, super, super easy. They want you to pay attention to what you're doing, so it keeps you on your toes. <laughs> Call the halt by Arch Nemesis. Die. Oof. Got hit by that thing again. Nose, tell me about itchiness. Yo, dead. Super dead, super dead. Sorry, I don't know what it is. When I sit down here in this basement, my nose gets itchy like crazy. I don't know if there's dust down here. I think it's just gotta be it. It's just dusty. Dusty old basement. Blade does not look nice. Yeah, now I'm wishing I would have bought some magic. <laughs> Thanks a lot, dude. No, crazy old wily old men jumping around ruins. Oh gosh, I should have seen that coming. Ooh. Oh gosh. Hope they throw some better weapons at me soon. These guys are serious business. Ooh, ooh. Well, this is gonna be fun. Oh. Yeah. Hello, Ray Javik84. Welcome. Playing some Chasm. It's my first time. Technically, I guess, a blind playthrough. My name is Marcos. I'm the bass player for the Rowdy Souls. Uh, this channel is normally a creative music streaming channel on Mondays and Wednesdays at 8.30 p.m. Central. But on Tuesdays, I do some gaming. Just kind of add a little bit of variety, but love to see you. If you like what you see here right now, you might like checking out our band on 
Mondays and Wednesdays. We also try to stream as a full band because it's usually a three-piece on uh, Sundays. So spike gloves. Press against a ledge while following the gravity. Nice. Do I have to equip these? No. So is it just like a... Oh, it's like a... Okay, so it's just like in Symphony of the Night, you just kind of have those... Aha! Okay, cool. Nice. Now I could climb up walls. Yeah, the Rowdy Souls technically is a Chicago Land Newgrass band that we're in. But we're all kind of gamers and geeks as well, so Twitch is a Twitch is a good place for us. <gasps> ah, it just went full circle, I see. Yeah. Alright. I'm heading back up. I think. Ah, okay, okay. I got this. I got this, man. Hi. There's a bunch of rocks here. Oh my. Guy does not look friendly. Kinda hoping for a save point soon. I do apologize if I pronounce your username wrong. Ray Yavik. Maybe, I would guess. I could be totally wrong. I'm hoping this gets me back to the surface. I need to save and... Yay, I'm hoping that's what this is. Dynamite. Ooh, what is this portal? Where does it go? Oh, from Russia. I do not understand English. I watch your music streams. Oh, okay, I apologize. Well, welcome back then. So I'm gaming at the moment, obviously. But welcome back. I'm sorry. I, it's... Hard to remember everybody. I think we're approaching 400 followers, but welcome. Glad to see you back here. All right, let's head to the surface. I'm going to buy me some magics and refill my health. Ah. Let's go talk to the crazy old lady. Hmm, magic knife. Magic axe. I thought I was supposed to buy all of these. Sure. Yeah, let's try some of these out. Ah, Rake. Reykjavik? Leave it up to me to pronounce something incorrectly. Um, hmm. Let's see what this is. Ooh. Yeah. I'm wasting magic. So that'll be nice for hitting uh, enemies that are farther away. Is there anything that I couldn't reach because of ledges, I wonder? I know there was a lot that looked like I needed to have some sort of digging power, but I don't remember a lot with ledges. So... Ah, the capital of Iceland. Ooh, back to spooky town. Probably have to blow that up from the other side. I'm glad it went this way. I do not like the look of that guy. I have a feeling he's going to do bad things. Oh my. Oh my. That's Snake! Yeah, the knife is not very strong. Neither is my sword. I'm hoping they give me the opportunity for some weapon upgrades soon. I wonder if a different uh, magic here would be better. Let's try the Malatav. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Oh my. Yeah, 9 damage is a lot right now. 
Goodness. Level up! He's got a lot of health. Yeah, the magic is basically um, Castlevania sub weapons. Those are basically your. Yeah, like literally right down to the Molotov is basically the uh, the holy water. And it's got the axe and the knife. It's just like just like how it works in a Castlevania. Game. Oh my gosh, dude! Ah, these snakes are serious business. Snake. Snake! Watch out for snakes. Uh, I guess I can go to the right first. Ooh, a ruby and a turkey leg inside of a vase. Another person. Hi there, I'm Ash, one of the miners here. Thanks for helping me out. I have a feeling the mines are going to be out of service for some time. But luckily, I have been learning the art of brewing potions. Well, that's good. While you're sitting here in this, <laughs> in this cage, this could give me a chance to really hone my skills. I'm going to head back to the tavern now and get started. Sounds good. Hopefully I'll remember the voice I gave you. I may not. I may totally forget and change his voice. <laughs> oh, thanks for hanging out, Jethro. It was good to see you. That's right, you got your D&D &D games. I'm so jealous. I've been wanting to start a campaign again soon, but it's just hard to find the, find the time and get the people together and the space. Baby life makes it hard, but enjoy your game. Thanks for hanging out, man. Well, it's good to see you. Ooh, so... Do I have to... Ah. Ooh. Okay, that's gonna be tough. Oh. That's not nice. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not gonna move until you move. Oh, I'm a lot of magics. <laughs> Suffer my consequences. Ugh. Gosh. The Zambos have a lot of health. Things are looking dicey. Yeah. I like seeing that. Oh. Out of the magic. Oh my gosh. Don't want to die. Hopefully this is a save point over here. New. New. It doesn't look like I can even go over there yet. I may have to eat some food. Some delicious grapes are sitting in my pocket. Oh my gosh, not like this. Give me magical powers! <sighs> Brass knuckles. Flippin' sweet. Wow, really high attack power. I'm guessing no range. Yeah. No thanks. Uh, maybe I'll go back to the club for a bit. <laughs> Please need save point soon. King slayed most of the warriors by himself, laughing maniacally as he spilled the blood of his own subjects. Only a few of the brave knights were able to escape the king's wrath. So it sounds like some king before went crazy. Hmm. The plot thickens. Ugh, more of those darn tootin' Zambos. Come on, buddy. Come face me. Come get clubbed in the face like a seal. Hmm. There we go. 
up and at them. I should be more careful now, my health is so stinking low. <laughs> Gotta love being able to hit enemies through the platforms. Very, very nice. Definitely makes things easier, I don't have to fight them straight on. My health is kind of low. I'm hoping to not crack all my resources if I can help it. Ooh, those little gnats. Pests. Save point? Uh, treasure, just as good, I guess. Ooh, the long sword. Power and range. And speed. Excellent. Oof. Oof. Ah, yes. Whew. Just didn't want to lose my progress. That would have made me so sad. sort of skeleton with a cape and a boomerang. All right. Don't fall for that. Yeah, you're dead, buddy. You silly boomerang. I guess I should try the axe out too. I haven't tried all the uh, power ups yet. The magic axe! I have a feeling it works just like axes do in uh, Castlevania games. Yep. Same. Ugh. Uh... Biscuits. Oh, you can uh, totally destroy his little boomerangs. The adorable little guy's boomerangs. Sorry, dude. Shut down. And a level up, very nice. Oof. This guy's definitely gonna take a lot more damage than the ones in the initial area. Ugh, I don't like these kind of jumps. Stressful. Stress. Pressure, pressure. Oh, of course. Oh, I thought it'd be really mean if they put those... The ones that uh, had little spikes up top. A gold ring. Can I equip it? I can. A simple yet beautiful gold ring. Brings up my attack and my intellect. I'm assuming that makes my sub weapon slash magic better. Get my magics up. And I don't want to avoid fighting enemies if I can help it. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Because I know I'm going to probably want to be stronger for the boss. That is inevitably going to be coming. Snake. Snake, stay away. Uh, maybe the knife? Oh my gosh. Wow. He's definitely gotten weaker. Alright, now that I figure out his pattern, he's nothing. Chump. A true chumskies. Watch as this. Please don't tell me it's a boss. Uh, an outline of a feather in the dust. Okay. I need some sort of mysterious feather. You are an adorable little boomerang man, but you are dead now. Yeah, boy. Oh, Zambo. Need to pay attention. Zambonios. Or Zambronios. Zabronis. Mm, 
this does not look fun. Blech. Take that, spooky spirit. Spoopy! Spoopy spirit time. Oh my. Check, 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 check. Just get you adorable little boomerang, man. So much character in these enemies, I love it. Seems like they put a lot of uh, dedication in this game, it's great. Boopy boop, boopy boop, spoopy boop, spoopy boop. about missing every time. <laughs> uh. Here I go, possibly with a different voice because I can't remember still. This place is incredible. I have learned more about the Lodori in the last hour than I have in the past year. Many artifacts are buried here among the dead, but this is the most intriguing. These inscriptions say that the Ulak ordered the shaman to move his people underground. Then the tribe turned its attention to the construction of the temple you see in this carving. It goes on to say that countless generations of Lodori died during the construction of the temple. Their remains were placed in these catacombs and await the Age of Darkness when they would rise again. If they built this temple, where could it be? And why was it so important? Please continue on without me and see what else you can find. I will catch up when I finish here. I'm guessing I'm supposed to click. So, Age of Darkness. Mm. Must be talking about the 90s. Ah, I get to head back to town? Yes. Pew. Yeah, the hub system is really nice. Be able to kind of go back and make sure I can go to my, my hub world and go back to the town. I guess I haven't told the mayor yet that I brought back one of the miners. He said to visit him. Watches, you found Ash. Everyone's, every one of my workers is like family, but Ash is the daughter I never had. Oh, I didn't know Ash was a lady. Whoops. All right. So Ash is a lady. Ah, so they're gonna fill the rooms of the tavern. Okay, cool. Can't even afford one potion. Wow. A recipe to create tonics. Maybe if I talk to her? It's good to see you again. When I'm not working down in the mines, I help Ethel out by running the bar. I think I have a knack for it, but without any recipes, it's hard to improve. If you can find some recipes for me, I can make new potions to help you out. Please let me know if you come across any while exploring. I found one. Man, that's expensive potion. Anyone else return to the pub? Or the bar? No. I pressed left, not up. Ah, so hitting those things doesn't actually refill your your magic. Buying all those goodies really depleted me. The magical goodies.
Back to Spooky Town. That clumsy fool Drake stepped on a trap plate and collapsed the passage we entered through. Pull the lever and find out what happens. Uh. Whoops, I just wasted magic. Ah! I'm falling! It didn't turn out so bad. Could have been way worse. Warp scroll and a ruby. I'm guessing a warp scroll will probably bring me back to the beginning of the level. Yeah, it returns you to Kothis. Ah, another learning scroll. Constitution plus one. I wonder if those gemstones are just to be uh, sold for monies or if they have any other purpose in the game. We shall find out, I'm sure. Ah, more of these little vase things. You feel open to learning. Okay. Sure. But don't I always feel open to learning? My. <sighs> Perfectly timed wrong. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Woohoo! I love that little boomerang skeleton. He's adorable. Ooh, a new monster! Meat Man! Angry Meat Man! Woo! Oh gosh! Please don't kill me, Meat Man! I gotta try it. There we go. Ah, jump too soon. Ah, I better not die here. Carrot. Ah, just a inch or so off. There we go. Now we'll afford some of those expensive potions. A flower bag. Wonder how that's useful. And some turkey leg <laughs> sitting there inside of a, a vase. Antidote recipe. Nice. I guess I came all this way for the re antidote recipe, or I can jump across here. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. No bueno, no bueno. Must be more careful. Yeah, wait, yeah, wait, yeah. Hey. Hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. Must be quick. Oh my gosh, why? Why? Ah. Promise you it's harder than it looks. Being the timing just stinking right. What is going on upstairs? It sounds like a, a party. Oh, are you serious? Must have just missed it by an inch. Whew. Okay. Just barely almost didn't make it. Ah, the blacksmith it looks like. Thanks for the help, friend. I'm Dom, the local blacksmith. I wish I could help you clear out these corridors, but I'm better at making swords than wielding them. Stop by my shopping cart or sometime. I will give ye a nice deal on some new equipment. And I'm running low on agua. 
Agua de agua. I don't need to do this again. I don't know why I'm doing that to myself. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the left. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box to the left. Jumpy man. Oh, I gotta fight meat guy again. I just kill you with magics. Ugh. Biscuits. Biscuit sandwiches. Ooh, he dropped a ruby. He must have had it in his tum tum. Oh. That could be really bad if I don't. Okay. Gonna die here if I don't. Uh, eat a turkey leg. I thought I had that timing down, but apparently not. That will end up in me dying. This could end up in my death as well. Best to eat that turkey leg now. Hoo-hoo! Bye-bye. That was pretty good. That was pretty darn too good. Um, I guess I haven't gone all the way to the left. I could go down to the left. Let's see. Ah, yeah, I haven't gone down, down. Oh, gosh. Oh, snake. It's a snake. Take this magic Molotov snake. Suffer for your crimes against mankind. Ooh, well this is creepy. Ghosty man. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, step right up and spin the wheel of fate. This wheel is for those who like to put it all on the line. But be careful, just like life, it doesn't always come up in roses. Will you spin the wheel of fate? I've saved in a while. New. No. Come back when you're ready then. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk that when uh let's have oh, fiddlesticks. Snake! I dislike you. You are not my friend. Ugh. Just seem risky, I haven't saved in a while. Doth not seem worth it. Oh my gosh. This dude looks serious. Um, um, oh, oh my, oh my, oh my. I don't think I'm supposed to come here yet. <laughs> or at least not without any health. Whew. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk getting killed here. I just haven't saved in a while. I am about to gain a level soon. So that would be good. If I could gain a level. Oh, can I not get back up, though? Oh, I fell down here. Oh, no. Oh, no. No good. I could use the teleportation. I may have to use that teleportation potion. Because I can't... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I might use it. I might use it soon. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. Oh my gosh, so thirsty. I thirst, I thirst. Yeah, I mean, I could try to grind, but it looks like I'm about to die like any second. I haven't used that scroll if it seems like they're giving me something that's surmountable, but it doesn't seem that way right now. 
seems like I could easily die here and lose a lot of progress. There we go, level up. Ugh. And the snake takes all the steam out of my sails. Um, guess yeah, we'll try this guy. This could be a huge mistake. Oh gosh. Yeah, he's kind of like a mini boss. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't know. Ow. Wow. This guy's. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. I was about to use a healing item. Woo! Woo wee! Half serious business. No save point yet. an empty room. Interesting. Huh. Hoping to find one soon. Quite, quite soon would be good. Ah, yay. Whew, yes. What a lifesaver that was getting dicey. That was getting real dicey-like. Could have been no good. Ooh. Oh, I just I goofed that one up. That was my fault. Cause literally just holding it to the left, you don't even really need to. There we go. There we go. I got it. Oh no! No! They died! Sad. I got a pocket watch. Oh, poor guy. I feel terrible. So what's the pocket watch? Pocket watch inscribed with the name Felix Farone. Or Farron. Whoops, use my sub weapon. Fiddlesticks. Poor Felix. I feel terrible for him. Oh gosh, don't do that. I guess I didn't get there in time. Woo! That's some good jimbing. Ooh, where are we going to now? Ah, I bet you this cave. Lead me back to the surface. Oh, I just went full circle. <laughs> I wonder what the combination is, though. I don't really remember seeing many clues. Um, hmm. I guess I didn't go all the way down when I was down there, but pop back up the surface, refill my goodies. Do something really quick. I gotta take care of something really quick. Yeah, this music's pretty good. I don't know why people complain about it. I don't think it's so bad. I think it's great.
All right. Let's head back to town. Refill all our goodies. Get all set. Yeah, I think I saved a new person. Oh, yeah, it was a blacksmith. That's right, that's right. I should see what wares he has. I think I did a really bad, like, Irish or Scottish accent. I can't remember. Well, friend, are you up for a mission? I have some equipment up for sale, but I can't create anything new. Those creatures took my forge and hammer when they raided the town. I was given, it was given to me by my father when I began smithing, and I promised to always use it. Once my hammer has been recovered, I can craft new items from raw materials you find. Keep your eyes open and let me know if you find it. Man, I'm Poe. Spent all my money on magical power. I can sell things. I wonder if I'm supposed to sell those gems or if I'm supposed to keep them. I have no stinking idea. Ah! You found Dom! Hey, thank goodness! I don't know what I would do without him. Without his skill at the forge, this town would be just a hole in the ground. Please keep looking for the rest of the townsfolk. I wish I could be more help, but I'm not as young as I used to be. Bone World. Uh, was it Town Hall? No, I haven't unlocked this one yet. Why did I think that I did? Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't think... I wasn't really paying attention if there were clues. I have no idea. Was I supposed to find clues? Let's see, I've already kind of been up here. I was supposed to find clues down below. Wasn't really paying attention. I was. Oh gosh. What about in the pocket watch? No. Hmm. Huh. About the risk of doing something really dumb. Let's go all the way down. That was a save point back there, I think. Yeah, I mean, I haven't gone all the way down yet, so... Let's do it! Wah. Not today, boomerang man! But boom Ugh! Meat boy! Angry meat boy. I have no skin! And I'm angry! Not today, Meatfield friend. You're dead. Super duper, ultra mega. Completely 100% DEED -E dead. Well, that shows I don't know what I'm doing. Skeleton unlocked, sure. Ooh. Oh, this guy's cool. He's kind of dressed like a, um,. A healer from Final Fantasy, though. Wow! He is fast. Uh, let me try the magic knife. There we go. Yo, dead. Ah, uh, what is this place? Drake and I split up to look for clues. I discovered several fresh frescoes, which I believe are paintings down here, that I believe contain clues to opening the gate. Now, if I can just figure out what they are, I hope Drake doesn't get himself completely turned around. He's a lunkhead. 
That could really use his help fending off these monsters. So, must be a clue in these murals. Well, there's three guys here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine there, so I don't think that's helpful. <laughs> Are you supposed to figure it out? Oh my. This one angry meat man. I guess I'd be angry too if I didn't have any skin. I was just made out of like skin and bones and had flies chasing me. Like old ransom sausage sitting out. Huh. Okay. Have I covered everything down here? No, I can go down further. Ugh, I have to feed that meat fellow. Haha, <laughs> critical! Ah, he dropped a turkey leg. I don't think I'd want a turkey leg that's been, like, in his pants pocket. Because he doesn't have, he'd have to have meat pockets. Ah, hello, Mr. Fister. One, two, three, four, five. Welcome. I like your username. It's very cheeky. Playing some chasm. All right, left or right. Your all time favorite song. You can just tell me what it is. We don't really do links because we've been trolled with them before, so we just avoid doing them. Ooh. You feel fortunate. Ah, so this is going to unlock another shortcut. I think. Oh no. Put a new area. Interesting. Ah, and there's vines. Alright, so I'm not gonna be able to get to that till We don't trust anyone to post links, unfortunately. If you're a mod, we could let you. But we've had uh, people troll us before, so we just had to because we can't have nice things and people can't be nice, we've just had to not allow it. So slot is carved into the wall. Okay, so I also need a feather and I need a slot. I don't think there's anywhere else for me to go here. Huh. Yeah, because I can't go up. I can't grab that ledge. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like I have to go back. I don't know if there's really anywhere else left for me to go, though. I went all the way to the left. I guess I'll have to go back up there. Huh. Huh. Meat Man! Oh no, Meat Man's gonna kill me if I'm not careful. I might have to actually eat something. Whew. If you like music, you should actually come back on a Monday or a Wednesday because this is actually normally a creative stream. Rowdy Souls is actually a five-piece bluegrass band that I'm a part of. I'm their bass player and their booking agent. And I just play some gaming on Tuesdays, give the channel a little more variety. And we do play video game themes if you're into 8-bit music. Uh, we do... The theme from Zelda, we do a couple different things, the theme from Tetris, stuff like that, so feel free to come back then. You can hear some video game theme music. We also do uh, the Dovakin song from Skyrim. 
And we're working on a few other extra ones. All right. Well, that's been two hours of solid streaming. This is probably a good time to stop. Thanks everyone for hanging out. I'm going to find somebody to raid with a few folks that I've got on here. Appreciate you hanging out. I'll be back next Tuesday. Probably continue to play Chasm. Uh, tomorrow night, the three-piece band will be playing. Uh, streaming at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. And then I believe this Sunday we're going to try to do a full band stream at 4 p.m. on Sunday. So thanks so much everyone for hanging out. I'm going to try to find someone to raid. Let's see here. We've got this peaceful music going as well. Uh, Bully's playing Dying Light. Oh, we got the Etc. Kid. Um... We could, or I could look for someone new too. Browse the creative, or is there someone else playing the same game I'm playing? That'd be crazy, man. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Sure, Rock and Josh looks like somebody we could have a good time raiding. All right, everyone, hop on the raid train if you'd like. Show some love to Rock and Josh. I've never checked him out, but we're going to check him out now. Uh, like I said, this is normally a creative stream, but on Tuesdays I, uh, at 7 p.m. Central, I do some gaming and some variety. Otherwise, band streams, the three-piece streams, uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, 8.30 p.m. Central. Uh, Sundays, full band. Otherwise, we are a live gigging band, so if you're in the Midwest, you can go to facebook.com slash rowdysouls, look up our schedule, maybe come see us at a live show, say hi. We try to take pictures with our Twitch fans um, that we meet in real life. Post on social media because we, we love it when you guys do that. So have a good night. See you next Tuesday or uh, on Sunday if we do a full band stream. Drop some emotes if you got them. It's always appreciated. Peaceful music. Da, 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 we're raiding the slowest raid ever. <laughs> dee -doo, dee -doo. 